Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Um, I've been on this sort of ring board thing, wrecked ring board thing, so I want to play with another one of those today, and I want to play with pink tourmaline in the ring, ring pour. So, the 20 by 20 canvas. This one's a gallery wrapped from Artist Loft. Very nice canvases. I like them very much. Okay, nice and sturdy. Let me show you my colors real quick, and we'll get started. So, I have here from Golden's Anthroquinone Blue. I have been having Floetrol issues, so my solution has been to add more paint. <laughs> it's worked so far. So I do have my mound on a mound, not a very huge one. I love this color though. It's so pretty, especially with like pinks and purples. It's just because it's a red based blue, so it's really pretty together. Okay, so that's the anthracridone blue. This one is quadacridone violet. Very, very pretty berry sort of color, leaving a mound on a mound. Then I have here Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. A mound on a mound on a mound. Then I have some Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels in pure white. And there's a little bit of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in here as well. So, everything was fighting to not leave a mound, but it did. <laughs> okay, this one is one that I've been playing with a lot lately that I really like the color. This one is Golden's Cobalt Violet Hue. Very, very pretty. Nice, deep, boysenberry sort of color. Very delicious. <laughs> Scrumptious is a good word. I'd like some boysenberry jam with some scones, please. And then the star of our show, Big Tourmaline. She's so pretty. <laughs> what was it last time we said she was like a, <laughs> a dancer in Las Vegas? Pink Tourmaline. Vegas showgirl. Yeah, Vegas showgirl. That was it. Our showgirl. Okay. So let's layer our cup. We're going to start. So we're going to do a ring pour. So we want to think about what's in the center. What do we want in the center? I do want a little bit of tiny white because I'm going to have white as my base coat. So literally just a little tiny bit. Then we're going to go with some gold. I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> Why am I using my left hand? Okay. A little bit of gold, not a lot. Put our showgirl in, pink tourmaline. Then we're gonna go. So it sounds like a Lenny Kravitz song. Pink tourmaline, <laughs> shiny <laughs> and clean. Yeah. Okay, so this is the cobalt violet. Then we're gonna put a little bit of white in. And some of the quinacridone violet. This is such a beautiful color. Mm. Okay, and then a little bit of gold. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Like, I'm using half as much gold as I would the other colors because I don't want big, huge blobs of gold everywhere. I want tasteful amounts of gold. <laughs> okay, a little bit more pink tourmaline. We're going to go through our anthroquinone blue. Nice thick layer of that one. And let's go with our violet again, the cobalt violet. A little bit of white in there. Some gold. Pink. So that's our cup. Let's move all this out of the way for a minute and put down our base coat. Then we will pour. There's my base coat. That one's a little bit thinner. It was a little bit thinner. <laughs> Check it again right now. Okay, 
Yeah, so it's thinner than the other stuff, but it's not very thin, which is good because I don't want it watery. Okay. All right, let's spread this out. I guess this would be a good way to practice ninja swipes. <laughs> Pour a puddle of gold in the center, and we're gonna pour into that. Come to me, darling. What is this? All right, ready? Here we go. left them with some of this white. I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the white and mix them together. And I'm going to add a little bit more gold in there. It's kind of like a honey color. It's pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Torch it real quick. Okay. That's it. X marks the spot. Okay. Circle and a dot. <laughs> okay. Let's tilt this and see what we get going on. over the edge on this one because I want those lines to spread out. Come back towards the middle. That's really pretty. Okay. We'll just lay the paint right there. I'm just going to sort of let it go down off that edge now. I don't know. 
down off that corner in the bottom. Don't like that tail, so. This side better than this, so I'm going to tilt some of that off. That's pretty neat. I like how it is. That's cool. It's kind of like a hurricane. <laughs> I don't want to torch it again because I don't want to get a million of these little white speckles everywhere. I like it how it is. It's pretty cool. This is so pretty over here. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later. <laughs> I love how this one turned out. It's so cool. There's a lot of depth in here. Really, really pretty. With that anthraquinone blue and the quinacridone violet and the cobalt hue violet. It's really amazing. Love this part. These kind of stripey cell cloud poofy. It's very pretty. I love that depth in there. It's gorgeous. This part's very cool up here. Very sparkly, which is very cool. I have not varnished this one yet. This one just has a Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. But as you can see, it's got a beautiful luster to it. 
nice sheen to it. So, pretty cool stuff. There's our wreck. There's one, and then the other one. It's such a cool technique. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with these lately. So, there you go. This is our violet wrecked ring pour with a cloudy effect. <laughs> Very cool though. Look how beautiful this color is over here. Just amazing. I really like this one a lot. So that's this one. Thanks for watching guys. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> if you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out on Facebook at Mina Villegas Art. You can also check out my Etsy shop, which I will put this one up there. And if you would like to be a patron of the arts, there is a link in the description box for a PayPal me. I really appreciate all of your donations. Thank you so much. So, this is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.